Hi everyone, my name is Janet Leah and I'm an artist and a visual arts educator with over 30 years teaching experience. And since 2007, I've had my own business off studio. You can get my classes online too if you join us on Patreon. Today I'm going to tell you about something I can't believe hasn't been covered a thousand times on YouTube already. The top five most hazardous to your health art materials and how you can replace them with safe alternatives. Okay, so number one, most toxic, and everybody knows about this one, it's turpentine or odorless thinner, commonly used to clean up what? Oil paints and other art materials. This is a fire hazard and it's bad to breathe it in and it's very bad to get on your skin. So there is an alternative to this. It's water. I know, that seems really wrong because you're saying, how can you clean up oil paints with water? You can if you buy the new water-based oil paints. And I'm endorsing Winsor Newton because it's one of the oldest companies. What's the second most common thing that people are exposed to in art supplies? It's cadmium through all the cadmium paints. If you're using cadmium orange or cadmium yellow or cadmium red, you can be sure that you're getting exposed to a heavy metal. Is there an alternative? Yes, there is. And it's called getting a plant-based paint and using vermilion. And I think that the Stockmar paints are very good for that purpose. The number three thing that you might be exposed to if you work around art supplies is fixative. And yes, it can be odorless, but it doesn't really matter. It's pretty toxic to breathe in. There are alternatives to aerosol fixative. You can get a nebulizer and a fine spray can be misted out over pastel or other art supplies. And one of the art supplies that needs to be fixed is pastel, our number four most toxic art supply that you might be exposed to is the dust coming from chalk pastel. And you can see how it collects. We can simply take a wet cloth and constantly mop up the chalk dust so we don't breathe it in. And finally, the number five and most important toxic thing you might be exposed to when you do art is the air you breathe. Make sure you have proper ventilation, open a door or window, or if you can't do that, invest in a good air filter. So if you like this video and you care about your health while doing art, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment below if you have ideas about how making art can be safe.